Hello, I'm Alan. Okay, we're going to take a look at this uh, drive image program and uh, go over a few things with it, pretty much like an overview. This is actually an update from the one that I uh, uploaded uh, a while back, I guess about a month ago. I've had some questions on it. I'll see if I can answer them the best that I can. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, this program is made by uh, our tools technology called our drive image it's an imaging program and just as a disclaimer to let you know i do not work for our drive tools um, or our tools technology i'm not employed by them i don't i'm not being sponsored by them or in any way i just uh <clears throat> i just want to go over uh with what i know about this program so with that with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so this is the main website for them, which is uh, driveimage.com. Uh, you can look this over. It'll tell you all about the all about the program itself. It's a fairly simple program. It's not really very you know complex. It's uh, you got to spend a lot of time with it, but I mean you don't got to be a you know a brain surgeon to <laughs> to really you know to use it. And uh, there's the uh, contact page for it, uh, for uh, our tools technology. If you ever need to get a hold of them or you want to ask them some questions. Uh, now, what I like about their, uh, about their software is I believe they give you a, uh, a free, uh, a 30 day free trial download on this. It's about uh, close to 100 megabytes. It's not very big. And uh, they don't ask. I think the only thing they ask for is maybe like an email address. That's about it. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to close this down. Here's the main program itself. After you open it, this is the screen that you're going to get. <laughs> and I'll go over these here uh, with you one by one. So, okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my my system here's the local drive c uh it's about three quarters of the way full that's about a one terabyte drive here's my backup drive and let's open up the backup drive real quick okay let's go up to a folder i created called r drive image now i created this folder myself and the last image file that I created uh, from a single directory, not the whole C drive, but a single directory was uh, actually created back in uh, November 27. You can look at the date right there. And the size of this file is, let's see, <clears throat> size of this file is 58 gigabytes. Module just run that off to 60 gigabytes. That's not really too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to leave this right here just like that. We're going to close this down. Okay, create image file. This is if you want to create a complete image file for your C drive. And there it is right there. Okay, now uh, the way this program works is that it can work. Uh, inside or outside of windows so uh but just right here uh you would do this inside of windows and you would create a complete image of your c drive which includes everything including your operating system and it would put that image file on your e drive your backup drive here's the trick Make sure you got enough space on your backup drive to, to uh, you know, for that image file, because image files can be pretty big. Okay, let's go back. Okay, that's a restore image. That's if you have an image on your drive that you want to restore, you have to tell the program where it is, and it will restore it. Uh, whatever it is that you backed up or restored in its original uh, in its original state and in its original location. 
copy disk. Copy disk is for if you want to upgrade your uh, SSD to a larger SSD. Right now we don't want to, we don't have anything to do right now as, as far as that's concerned, but that's what that is. Uh, let's do create an image from files. This is what I do all the time. Uh, I would go to my uh, C drive right here. Let's see. Yeah, C drive right here. And it's reading everything. You can see it down here that it's reading everything that I have. Now what I do is I just uncheck this. It unchecks all the all the uh, folders and all the files. The only one that I want to back up is the Pinnacle Studio file. That's the only one that I want to back up. That's the most important. Uh, right now we're not going to do that. I'll do that here. I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. This is just an overview of what this program is. Uh, check image. You're checking for the integrity of an uh, existing image file. Uh, this right here is pretty important. I would r r stress strongly to do this. This creates a startup or a USB <coughs> to uh, to use to uh, bypass Windows. In other words, if you um, if you lose access to Windows, in other words, if your computer won't boot into Windows and you cannot get to these files, that's what this is. This is a boot. Uh, this is a boot uh, USB uh, to help you uh, to help you get to the files that you need. So I would really strongly suggest uh, a, uh, a USB would work. USB stick would work fine. That's what I use. Um, the last one here, I'm going over the most important ones that I use. Partition manager. Now, I had a question on... The first video that I uploaded, it's called Overview, it goes back about a month, about partitions. Okay, so here's your C drive. This is your primary drive, of course. <clears throat> that I, as far as putting, uh, dividing that into other partitions, I really not even, I really wouldn't even worry about it. But if you want to experiment or test out, uh, as far as uh, putting more than one partition on your drive, I would suggest to use a backup drive. Do not use your C drive. Do not use your primary drive for that. Use your E drive. <clears throat> now my E drive, my backup drive is currently 500 gigabytes. And uh, that's not very big compared to today as far as what we can get as far as SSDs are concerned. So this backup drive, my backup drive only has one primary partition. Now, I could I could put probably two or three partitions on here if I wanted to. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it as a single partition, be, mainly because the backup drive that I have is used for image files. For holding my image files that's really all it's for anyway <clears throat> and uh right now uh like i said that backup drive that's only a 500 gigabyte drive this drive here the c drive my c drive is only is a one terabyte drive okay so let's uh let's go back here so i pretty much did like an overview on this uh, i didn't go into too much uh too much depth into it but I'm going to be making another video here, uh, probably maybe later on today, as far as I'm going to create an image uh, from a single uh, from a single directory, which would be Pinnacle Studio, and I'll do that in another. I'll do that in another video. So, but as an overview, I just wanted to show you this. So, this is something that is really worth your while, I think, because. Uh, if you create an image of your 
C drive, your complete hard drive, including Windows, all your files, all your folders, all your important information, documents, whatever. Last time I did this, and this was a while back, um, it took about two and a half hours to create that image file. But right now, I'm just all I'm doing is backing up individual uh, an individual folder. <clears throat> because if I tried to make a uh, an image of the complete C drive, there wouldn't be enough room on my 500 gigabyte backup drive to hold that to hold that image file. And here's one last thing before I go. Would you rather spend two and a half hours or so creating a complete image file of your hard drive, or would you rather spend <laughs> maybe a month or more putting everything back on your system? Setting Windows back up, all your files, all your folders, everything you had the way before the system crashed on you. So two and a half hours roughly compared to maybe one to even maybe one and a half to maybe two months. So how much is, you know how much time is it worth to you? So you kind of think about that. And if everything's working fine right now, you're not having any problems. I guarantee you, somewhere down along the line, you probably will. And then you'll probably say, "Well, why didn't I use this program?" So, uh, but go ahead and take a look at it. I think you'll like it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, just leave, uh, leave it down below in the video, and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Okay, hey, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.